Hey Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to my channel and a another video. If you're new here and you've stumbled across my part of the YouTube universe, welcome and I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. I post twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and I mainly post about witchcraft, uh, law of attraction, positivity, uh, with a little bit of beauty and life thrown in for good measure. So without further ado, we are going to get into this video. Hey Dreamweavers, I am back with a, another video and as I'm sure you can tell, the background has changed significantly. Uh, just for this video, I'm just um, out and about and in my car so I thought I would fit well out and about I needed to go to the ATM so it's not really out and about but um I need to film some videos uh my camera battery is dead and I need to charge it and I needed to film today and also as well like I've not been feeling um good uh a few weeks ago I got labyrinthitis um labyrinthitis like a month ago which is a form of vertigo and I think it's been coming back and I've been feeling really rough and unsteady on my feet and stuff and I really wanted to get um, some videos filmed today and I needed to pop out and and yeah and I just thought I'll just make do you just sitting in a car park filming a YouTube video in my car but we've got daylight and this that you can see is my little dream capture and my spider pumpkin bath and body works scented thing there so if you see me looking down I have my iPad with my handwritten notes so let's get into it. So I'm doing another video in my Sabbath celebration series. And this one is going to be all about Lassard or Lamis, whichever you, however you choose to say it. The first of the three harvest festivals that's coming up on the um, beginning of August. So this uh, festival is tends to be celebrated around the 1st of August and like I just said it's the first of the three harvest festivals so Lasard being the first, uh, Maybon, um, so the four equinox being the second and the final one being Samhain um, or Halloween as you may know it, the third one. And the word Lamas comes from uh, the word uh, loaf mass but I prefer Lassard. I don't know. Yeah. I usually sometimes I say Lamas, but I usually say Lassard. I don't know. I just feel like it rolls nicer. Um and uh so this Sabbath's all about the union of the god and goddess is complete. And so uh the first grain of the harvest, um first grain, sorry, is ready to be harvested. And also it's a time sort of, of um reflection and of giving uh thanks for all the abundance in your life and it's time to sort of uh, reap what you've sowed like throughout the year so yeah so yeah <laughs> that was weird I was like so yeah so yeah <laughs> so there's also the festival of uh, Lu I can never say um, his name is Celtic Gods L-U-G-H I'm sure I pronounce it wrong but I always say Lu and uh, he's the Celtic God of Light and also, um, as I'm sure you can feel in the air, I can even sort of start to feel it in the air now. And it's still like a few weeks until Lassard, um, that there's sort of like, you can sort of feel that sort of major shift in the seasons as the wheels sort of turning. Um, we're sort of getting right to the height of summer now. So we're gonna slowly 
start to ease into fall like after Lasard. and uh, the sun god at the moment is still uh, dominant as we're heading into the sort of final final bit of summer and even though he is dominant it's slowly slowly starting to wane as the wheel keeps turning um leo please apologize they are wrong is believed to is believed to be the spirit of the grain and he's often linked to the character of john barleycorn who gives his life just as the grain is cut so that it may be reborn to, to sustain the community so um the key deity to observe would be uh would be lou um if you're wanting to sort of like uh need some inspiration for like old decorations and dressing altar and things like that uh corn dolls you could make corn dolls I, i'm gonna learn how to make those and hopefully do a little witchy diy on those so i love those i think they're really cool sort of like wheat grain sunflowers a nice bright yellow vibrant any sort of bright yellow vibrant flowers oats sunflower seeds um herbs or and um, herbs that you'd sort of associate a good one for uh this sabbath is mint again the, the colors that you are uh, would associate would be your bright summery colors so bright yellows bright reds um greens oranges browns that sort of rich warm earthy colors so if you want to um, do something for the sabbath like you're wanting to do some sort of um activities and you're not sure what to do or like what you can do again like i said making corn dolls i mean corn dolls is a fun fun witchy lassard lamas type thing to do um you could harvest or buy fruit and vegetable that is in season so i don't know about where you live like in the world or whatever where i um live like this time of year there's farms and stuff where we can do like fruit picking and things like that so yeah you could go like strawberry picking or um plums or anything like like that or maybe a similar thing where you live for like vegetables and things as well so you could do that also baking uh bread and giving uh giving offerings to your deity is a nice thing to do you could decorate like i said give me some inspiration or give me some ideas inspiration's probably a bit rich but ideas for what you could decorate how you could decorate your altar to incorporate the sabbath so that's like a fun thing something that you witchy and lasadi that you could do gathering different herbs and flowers and drying them in preparation for future spell work was really is really cool i've seen like such like pretty posts like on instagram and stuff like people who have like rigged up like um uh like big like twigs and stuff with string hanging down from them where they dry like um lavender and uh, rosemary and all different sort of herbs and it looks so aesthetically pleasing so you could do something like that and then you've got your herbs for future spell work it smells amazing and it like looks really good as well so that's like a double winner also as well um this time of year is just so perfect for making the most of the nice warm weather and the light evenings and um doing things and going places I know this Sabbath will probably look a lot different than other ones because of what's going on in the world and things like that and with social distancing and things being closed but as like restrictions are lifted and stuff like in the weather if it's nice it's raining here at the moment I mean England is a bit more unreliable weather wise especially this time of year but if you're lucky to live somewhere where you do have reliable summers you could have barbecues or bonfires um you go for nice evening walks anything like that it's just nice to be able to just soak in the sunshine and just just feel at one like with nature also as well it's a good time to do like prosperity work if you're trying to sort of manifest and bring um bring 
uh, money in any form into your life and now's a good time to do spell work for that you could also tend to your garden if you're fortunate to have a garden you could um tend to it i mean you could do that anytime but now is obviously a perfect time with uh the weather and it being the height of summer as well going to harvest festivals and farmers markets like like now is the start of like the really awesome time of like doing all these things and literally it's not going to be that long until we're able to like go to pumpkin patches and stuff and that is amazing but yeah i feel like that this sabbath is all about living in the moment and just sort of uh, appreciating what you've got and reaping the benefits of what you've put out there this year so yeah i really yeah so i hope that i've given you a couple of ideas and i hope that me filming in my car wasn't too weird for you it wasn't too annoying but yeah so let me know what you think and also as well i really want to know how you plan on celebrating the sabbath and i'd love to see like photos of like um if you feel for if you feel like sharing them of your altar or your um your lamas or lasard page in your book of shadows or and also if you make some corn dollies like please tag me i really want some inspiration and i would love to see them so yeah so until next time keep dreaming stay enchanted and have an awesome lasard